Welcome to part two of our pullout sofa assembly. Now, even though we're posting this video right after the last one, a lot of time has passed here. We pushed off the second part of this assembly because it really wasn't vital and we were on a time crunch at the time to get the van as livable as possible before we moved out of our apartment. So here we are. Part two will include installing the drawers and installing a face frame to make our sofa futon as functional as possible. In the meantime, while we were living in the van um, with the unfinished couch, we just placed a piece of fabric over the front face of the couch just to make it look a little cleaner. And you can see all the shoes that we were storing underneath. So with that being said, step one is going to be installing the struts that the drawer slides are going to attach to. So we purchased an eight foot long two by three that is going to run in between here, 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 and then we'll talk about that later. We're gonna do something else for that because that is where our lagoon mount mounts to that side. And then after we have those installed, we will be able to mount our drawer slides onto those and install a drawer. Lagoon mount, as you can see, uh, the mount will protrude into the couch and there's nothing we can do about that. So instead of using a thick two by four, we are just using a thinner one by four that fits in fine and it sits flush right in that gap. Okay, we got our four pieces cut. We are going to pocket screw these into this to make it nice and sturdy. But we're only pocket screwing on the front side because we don't want any screws coming through the, 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 the front side that you're going to see. But on the back, we're not going to pocket screw them just because it takes more time. We can just screw straight in from those beams just to save us a little bit of time since it's on the rear. Good point, good point. Since you aren't really going to be able to see these, uh, we're just going to prime them with Rust-Oleum and make them nice and white before we stick them in. Okay, so while we're waiting on our little struts that we have for each drawer uh, to mount the drawer slides on while we're waiting on those to dry, I did some, some measuring. As you can see, I got all of our math right here, which is just pretty much accounting for, you know, taking out the drawer slides and in, in in the width. But that's where we are here, so start cutting. bottoms, sides, and backs of the drawers cut out. As you can see, we have them all nicely laid out over here. All the sides over there, all the backs here, and the bottoms here. All three drawers are different sizes, just because of when we constructed the, the couch. So we're gonna start putting these together. And just to put them together, obviously you need the wood. We are going to be using uh, these like little corner 90 degree things to make sure it's perfectly flush. We're gonna use some wood glue, and uh, then we're gonna use uh, our electric nail gun to get it all fastened together. Okay, so we're just kind of dry fitting the box right now, putting all the sides up next to each other, and it actually looks pretty darn good. We're gonna have to just, like we said, do some wood glue, put all this together, and then nail it. spinning our first drawer. This one seems like it's literally, you know, these, these things don't go left or right, but they, you know, slide right in. So it should be literally like the perfect width. Okay, hold that. 
Make sure it's flush, hold it up against it and make sure it's flush. It's pretty much do exactly what I'm doing right there. Yeah, just like that. We have the back sides and bottom of our drawers put together. We are going to fill in the gaps with this caulking before we paint. We're also ready to get our struts installed. Now it's time to put all of our horizontal struts in that our drawer slides are going to be mounted to. So we're going to start on this side because of our lagoon mount. So this one's kind of more particular on where it has to go. So I'm, I just kind of measured up six and a half inches and it fits in there good. So I'm just going to go unison six and a half inches here, six and a half inches there. Get that mounted and our first drawer slide is going to belong there. And we're going to get mark the bottom of each of these all the way down on the front and the back side just to ensure that they're all symmetrical. Jumping into the next day of our couch slash drawer build. Have a little contraption here set up for the spacing and everything. We have our struts installed now, so we're gonna start in slide, installing our drawer slides. We set this up as kind of like a little podium to be able to position our drawer slide so I know it's completely level because I know this is level and we know that the drawer slide needs to come to the front of this beam right here. So we also just put like a spacer here so that way it sits flush with it. So now the point we have to mount is right here. So we're gonna get this screwed in and then do the same thing over here and then get the actual sliding pieces that attach to the drawer. We're gonna get those measured out and placed in the right position on the drawer. And hopefully we have an operational drawer. And the drawer sides will just sit a little further back in the drawers that way these drawers can sit up nice and flush with the front of the sofa. Okay, so next step, we got our drawers in here. We got all the slides mounted to the actual couch, not to the actual drawers yet, but we just did a little dry fit. Put these in here, they're all, they all fit really well. And the next step now is figuring out the exact depth these need to sit within the drawer because I have a little example here. Each of these drawers are gonna have a half inch face on them. And then going around this uh, unfinished looking wood, we're gonna have a quarter inch piece of plywood that goes around and it's gonna have the cutouts for all these drawers. So this represents the quarter inch face that we're going to have. And then this represents the face of the drawers. So we want this to be flush with each other. And obviously there'd be like a little gap in there so that drawers can slide freely, but it looks something like that. So we're just doing one drawer at a time. We're going to take two out, but after we have it sitting at the right depth that we need it, we're literally taking our pencil, the lead strung out, and we are drawing a line on the drawer so we know exactly where the slide needs to start and run down. three drawers and we are going to latch these from the back end with a magnet latch yeah because of the, the slide out couch mechanism it will be kind of tricky to latch it from the front um, so yeah we decided we're gonna latch it from the back next step 
right hook pouch is the face frame. So we have the, we got the measurements of the entire face and it is um, like 56 by 16. So we have that traced out right here. Next step is going to be to cut this and then we're gonna lay it up next to the actual couch unit. And then the drawer openings, each, each uh, individual one, we're gonna come in from the back and draw, trace around where each of the drawer openings actually sits. And then that's how we, we are gonna know where to cut on these. So that way the drawers should slide right in and out. And this is a quarter inch uh, piece of birch plywood. Have our face frame cut we've just got it clamped in place right now so we can get back there and draw out the inserts that we need to cut Okay, so we have our faceplate cut out and I'm not gonna say it's my best cutting job ever, but I think it got the job done and the lines are pretty straight. We're gonna sand some of it just to smooth off any potential wobbles that the, the uh, jigsaw provided and to just smooth off some of the slight wood, wood chips. But I think it looks amazing. We're gonna sand it and obviously prime it and then we'll get it mounted or we actually might use it as templates for the drawer faces and then we'll mount but on to the next step making the faces for the drawer all of our drawer faces cut and we just test fitted them in there. Um, they're pretty snug so we're going to sand the inside of our face frame to create a little bit of a bigger gap. If you do this, probably just cut on the inside of your line for these drawer faces just to create maybe an eighth of an inch gap. I think that'd be perfect for sliding these drawers in and out without an issue. We just primed and nailed in our face frame. We used wood glue and nails while keeping it clamped in place. And that's what it looks like so far. Now we are going to size up our drawer faces to here, make sure they're perfectly where we want them, and then um, wood glue and nail those in as well. He's got it in place. I'm going to run around to the other side and I'm going to press this out. Okay, so I am pushing this really hard against him as he's pushing it towards me while he nails in the face. And all of these little nail holes will be filled, sanded, and painted over. So we're gonna repeat this with the other two. all of our faces attached to our drawers. Now we're going to um, prime these up. Now we are going to attach our handles. They're going to go about there. And we got these off Amazon. They're a vegan leather um, drawer pull. 
and because the screws that came with them are over three quarters inch long, we are going to put a piece of quarter inch plywood behind our half inch drawer right here and add that to the depth. That looks like this. We just cut little squares. Um, yeah, we didn't account for the length of these screws when buying them. So we're just gonna place this where the handle will go and then we're gonna attach it and paint it white on the inside so it should blend in pretty well. got our latches in. We did a very jerry-rigged way of putting in latches, as you can tell. But what we did is we used the same magnetic latches that we have on our upper cabinets. They work really well. So hopefully they'll work well with these big drawers. As you can see, we had to add a piece of uh, three quarter inch wood because we have this drawer raised slightly above three quarters of an inch. So we needed that magnet to be level with the drawer. So we got that nailed into the structure of the couch and then our magnetic latches all latched in. And now it is pretty sturdy, as you can see. So this is how the sofa turned out. We have three deep drawers. We have four inch couch cushions. We have some throw pillows stuffed with clothes. And these drawers have actually held up very well. The drawers have never come open on their own. So the magnetic latches in the back are strong enough to hold them. We have a bunch of Aussies stuff in this one. Shoe, Ricky shoes in there and my shoes over there. And then whenever we want, especially at night for Aussie, we just pull this out and then lay both cushions flat and she has her own big bed. And we have also had guests stay on this bed and they said it was pretty comfortable. Then as you can see, we have our uh, lagoon table mount and our table just tucked behind the driver's seat that we put up for dinner. And that's about all. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. We're really good about answering everyone's questions and hope you enjoyed this video. Ozzy says, please like and subscribe. Said I gotta run away, get away, get away now. Too many games and they all trying to play out. Too many people and they all start to change now. Let me take a bet, they gon' know my name now. Yeah, we came a long way, but it's one way. Got a long way to go like it's Monday. Someday gotta be in LA. No, I gotta make it work out like chess day.